Good evening, friends and folks. I am Horizon, and today I am going to introduce you a very shocking existence. Dreamers and their imaginary boyfriend. I'm going to start my speech with a very interesting question. Dating a person that do not actually exist, is that possible? That may sound incredible, but the answer is actually yes. In this rapid developing world, people's ideas about romance is constantly changing. Nowadays, it is not limited to the opposite gender, and it is not limited to be human. It can be a fictional character. And the people who date these fictional characters call themselves Meng Yu, in which I translate into dreamers. And the people they are in love with, the fictional characters, they call them Meng Jue, which I translate to dreamy. Take one of my friends, for example. She is a great fan of Sirius Black from Harry Potter series. One day, she told me that she is going to make him her boyfriend. She told me the story of he, her and Sirius, Sirius in the Harry Potter universe and the news they are going to engage. Of course, I feel, feel happy for her and I draw some pictures to celebrate this event. So in this case, she, the girl, my friend, is the dreamer and Sirius Black, the fictional character, is the dream E. You may say, wow, this is impossible, right? Your friend doesn't really date Sirius Black. She is just imagining things. You may have a point. Because fantasy and imagination is the essence of this imaginary romance. However, some dreamers will counter. How dare you guys look down at me? A doubt the time has changed. Nowadays, we don't really date our boyfriends by normal and secular kissing or by Michael Stein hanging out. We have some far more interesting approaches. Like, we uh, imagine our interactions, we draw up and write down our stories, and we buy merchandise related to our boyfriends, like badges or posters. Indeed, Many dreamers, they are very serious with this relationship that they gave up the chance to date real person in life. Now you may wonder why there is such change. Why more and more people, especially girls, are starting to date imaginary boyfriends. I think there are two main reasons. The first one is pressure. In modern society, People have great stress on their work and study. And it does releases a lot of stress to imagine you have a very loving and caring boyfriend. I think the second main reason is isolation. Nowadays, people are very much isolated with each other and they don't have many chances to meet each other, meet each other face to face. Maybe that's why they imagine that they're in the company of others. The appearance of these dreamers also leads to a very interesting phenomenon. The chain in the row of digital illustrators. As we all know, high-level and famous digital illustrators has always been earning money by working on commercial projects. However, there are also low-level and not so famous digital illustrators. They're active on the internet because they draw fan art. Drawing fan art is good. But that is just power and electricity with pure love, which means they don't receive any financial feedback. However, now, with more and more dreamers appearing, they started to appoint these infamous digital illustrators to draw out their stories, their imaginary relationship with the dream me. So in this case, uh, in this case, digital illustrators can earn money. They can also realize these dreamers dreamed. Now, they are money maker as well as the dream realizer. So, after hearing my introduction, what do you think about this change? Do you think this is good or bad? 
I think maybe some of you may be very worried. You think this phenomenon is very alarming because more and more people, they are stuck so deep into the virtual world that may, they may have no interest in the real one. However, I think, uh, I think you're right. Now, in this age, people are, more, are much more engaged in the, with the internet than they have ever before. And we're entering the world of metaverse, where anything can be virtual and database. So it doesn't really matter if your boyfriend isn't carbon-based. <laughs> also, this phenomenon leads to a very interesting question. Can human love non-human? Maybe many of you now will say no, because you think that non-human, like AIs and machines, they have no emotions, and they can't love us back. But however, the technology will change in the future. And maybe one day, AIs, machines, non-humans, they can communicate, they can love, they can have a relationship with real human. In that world, people will be able to fall in love and form relationships with whatever and whoever they want. And the appearance of these dreamers may be the heritage of that world. But what will really happen in the future? I don't really know. So, Let's just anticipate. This is an end of my speech. Thanks.